Well, with Trinidad and Tobago getting set to host the much-anticipated CC Can Championships next month, there is heightened interest in this week's National Open Long Course Swimming Championships, which splashes off tomorrow. Former Olympian Chantel McLean, who is entered in the 100 freestyle event, and Cheryl Thompson, who is listed in the 50 free, are set to make their first competitive splash at the spanking new National Aquatic Center in Balmain, Coover. The president of the Amateur Swimming Association, Wendell Lyhing, is over the moon about this, as they will have more at least to choose from when they sit down to select the national team for CC Can. I could safely say entries are coming in fast and furious. The final entries are coming in, and um, we will be having all, all four disciplines. Um, Trinidad and Tobago won't be taking part in one discipline which is synchronized. Swimming is something that we are working on, but I am pleased to say we have two young divers that will be, that will be in that competition, a 12-year-old young lady, and then we have a past swimmer, national swimmer, who has a son who does diving, so we will be having two participants. Is the expected return of the two Olympians and others that has him the most enthused, and he sees it as significant. National team would be would be an open team this time because we have an 80 and over category, and for the first time in 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 my recollection, um, the amount of of senior athletes wanting to come home, I could safely tell you Dylan Carter, who is one of our um, Olympians, he is coming in. I believe he's coming in on the 20th, 20th of June. We have young Joshua Romani, who would have been a, a past world's athlete. We have Kristen Julian, and, and then we have a number of foreign-based athletes who, with Trinidad and Tobago parentage, um, they keep sending their entries in. They keep sending their times because they want to be a part of this.